Hey guys, I've been observing this trend in Southeast Florida where a lot of players are leaving tennis for pickleball. Take a look at this. We've got four beautiful tennis courts. It's 8.30 a.m. in Florida. This is prime time for tennis play and there's nobody playing. Well, at the same time, they just recently built these pickleball courts and it's always jam-packed. In fact, it's so packed, you sometimes can't even find the parking spot. You see all those heads bopping up and down? Uh, those are pickleball players. And not only are players leaving tennis for pickleball, tennis courts are also being converted to pickleball courts at a massive scale. This is taking place more and more here in Southeast Florida. So this has me intrigued. I'm going to try to play this pickleball and see what it's all about. Looks like all the pickleball rackets are sold out. There are plenty of tennis rackets though. Okay, let's get the dagger. That sounds good. In pickleball, you're not allowed to step inside this line in an area called the kitchen. And you're not allowed to take balls out of the air when your foot is over this line. You are, however, allowed uh, to take the ball off the bounce and then step in or even take balls off the bounce while being inside this area. But when it comes to volleys, you got to stay out of the kitchen. Guys, this pickleball is a blast. I understand that a lot of tennis players are picking up this game. And I think what a lot of people find appealing about pickleball, that it's more forgiving on technique. You can pretty much play everything with a continental grip and the strokes are a lot shorter than tennis strokes. They're more compact. So it's a lot more forgiving on technique. It's easier to keep the ball in play. And most importantly, the way this ball is designed, it has holes in it. It's a plastic ball. You can hit it pretty hard without losing a lot of control. You can see I can rip this thing and it doesn't really fly that far. Now on the other hand, the ball does not bounce very high. So I'm 6'5 and I don't really like to bend that much. So when I play pickleball, it was difficult to handle some of the lower balls. And of course, because this court is so small, you have to cover less ground. And especially if you're playing pickleball doubles, you really don't have to move that much. And this is, of course, an advantage to some players that have problems with mobility. So if you're a good tennis player, you're going to be able to pick up this pickleball pretty easy. But the big question is, if you're playing pickleball, what is going to be the effect on your tennis game? Unfortunately, none of the other racket sports will help you to become a better tennis player and that is because of the unique characteristics of the tennis technique. See, all the other racket sports have motions that are much shorter and more abrupt compared to tennis. And in tennis, we really don't hit shots like that. We might be occasionally bunting the ball or blocking it back, but in tennis, the strokes are much longer, they are more continuous, and there's a lot more torso rotation involved. 
And what separates tennis from all the other racket sports is this thing right here. See, the tennis ball will fly extremely fast. So in order to be able to control this thing, you have to have accurate technique. See, no other racket sports comes close to speed where you can do something like this. You know, send the ball over to the other side well over 100 miles an hour. And that is what a lot of novice tennis players have trouble with. They might be starting playing with three or four balls and now the ball is flying pretty fast and it's only possible to control it with proper technique. A good tennis player will also develop exceptional feel for this ball. So that way we can hit the ball not only hard, but also soft. We can create multiple angles, hit the ball short and deep. And this is why good tennis players can translate their tennis game into any other racket sports with relative ease. And there's one story that's fascinating. See, in 2006, Las Vegas had an ATP 250 tournament and they also had a paddle tennis tournament going on on the same site and Gil Monfils entered the paddle tennis tournament for fun and he faced the 19-time world paddle tennis champion and Gail had never played paddle tennis in his life and he ended up winning the match so if Gail can beat the 19-time world champion without ever having played paddle tennis before this clearly proves that tennis is the king of all racket sports so I advise you not to quit tennis completely and switch over to pickleball Think of it this way, if you continue to improve your tennis game, this might actually improve your pickleball game as well.